Hey friends, welcome to Codage. In this video, we will see how to authenticate and authorize API gateway endpoints using IAM policy and the resource policy. As you see in the diagram, we will first create API in the API gateway. Then we will create a simple Lambda function, which we will call using one of the endpoints from the API gateway. After that, we will create a user in the IAM service and we will create and attach custom IAM policy to the user. In the IAM policy, we will give permission to access the API gateway resource that we are going to create to access the Lambda function. Also, when we create a user, we will get the access key ID and the secret key from the IAM service. Now using this access key ID and the secret key, user will call the API from the API gateway. And user will send this access key ID and secret key using signature version 4 protocol. API gateway will authenticate the user with the help of IAM service. After the user get authenticated, IAM policy check will happen for this called API. And after the authorization, user request will get forwarded to the Lambda function. And Lambda function will send response back to the user. So let's move on to the demonstration. So in the AWS console, we will first create the Lambda function, which we will call from the API gateway. So let's search for the Lambda. And let's click on the create function button. And my Lambda function name will be Lambda demo for YT. Okay, so runtime will be Python and click on the create function. Okay, so Lambda function is created successfully. We will keep this body as a default one that is hello from the Lambda. Okay, now let's search for the API gateway. And here we will create the test API. So click on the build button and let me give it name as a YT demo. And endpoint type will be regional. So you can select age optimize as well, but it will cost you some money. So let's click on the create API. Okay, so our API is created and this will be our API ID. Okay, so let me close this notification. So let's add the resources in our API. So click on this create resource button and let me give name as a get data. Okay, so you can give any name to your resource. Just for the sample, I am giving the name as a get data. Click on the create resource button. So our resource is created. Now let's add the method into this resource. So click on this create method and method type will be get. So you can give any method type here. Okay. Next integration type will be lambda function and let's search our lambda function here. So our lambda function was lambda demo for YT and please make sure that you should create the lambda function in the same region in which you are creating the API gateway. So I'm creating the API gateway into the AP South one region that is Mumbai region and our lambda function was in the same region that is in the Mumbai region. Okay. Now, when you integrate Lambda function in the API gateway, API gateway will add the permission to invoke your Lambda function automatically. So let's click on this create method button. So the first API is created successfully. So let me close this notification. Now, if you go back into the Lambda function and if you go into the configuration and if you go into the resource based policy, let me Click on the view policy. Here you can see this policy is added by the API gateway. So what it says, allow access to this service that is API gateway service. Action will be invoke function like to invoke our Lambda function to this resource that is our API gateway resource. So let me close this policy. Let's go back into the API gateway. Now let's test this API. So you can test the API directly from this test option. So click on this test button and you can see we are getting the response successfully from our Lambda function. Now let's deploy this API into the stage. So in the API gateway, you can create the multiple stages to deploy your API. So let me click on this deploy API option here. So let's create the new stage. So our stage name will be dev and let's click on the deploy button. 
okay so our api is deployed successfully on the dev stage now if you want to call this api you can copy this invoke url so let me run this url from the browser so if you see in the url this is our api id this is our region and this is our stage name and let's add the resource name that is get data okay so we are getting response from the lambda function so let me go back into the api gateway now what we will do let me go into the resources now we will restrict access to this get data api with the help of resource policy now to create the resource policy click on this resource policy option here and click on the create policy so first option is aws account allow list so here you can allow action based on the aws account id okay next is a ip range deny list so here you can mention the ip addresses for which you want to deny access to this api and the last is a source vpc allow list so, so here you can deny action to the resources based on the vpc id so let's create the policy using the ip range deny list so here i will copy my machine ip address and let's remove this other part okay so what we are doing here we are denying access to this resource okay for this ip address that is this machine ip address and let's change this resource arn so stage name was dev right and http verb it was of the type get and resource path was get data right and let's change this resource here as well let me copy the same line okay let's save this policy now what we will do we will deploy these changes onto our stage so let's go into the resources click on the deploy api select the stage that is dev stage and click on the deploy button okay so our api is deployed on the dev stage so we will call our api url again so let me refresh it okay so you can see the we are getting message that is user is not authorized to perform the execute api invoke action on this resource that is our get data api right so we saw the example how to restrict access to our api using the resource policy now let me go back into the api gateway click on the resource policy we will allow access to the api now so click on the edit and let's remove this deny block let's save these changes and don't forget to deploy changes into the stage so our changes are deployed successfully on the dev stage so let's reheat the api okay so we are able to access the api again we are getting the message from our lambda function so let me go back into the api gateway in the resources now what we will do we will restrict access to this api with the help of im policy so let's create the user in the im service so search for im and here we will create the new user so click on the users click on the create user button so let me give name as a yt user and we don't want to provide access to the aws management console so click on the next button we will attach the policy directly now if you search for the api gateway invoke if you attach this policy this will allow permission to the user to access the api gateway apis so what it will do it will allow the full access if you click on this plus button here so you can see the policy what it says it is allowing two action that is invoke and the manage connection action and it is allowing action for the all the resources that is in the api gateway so here we don't want to allow access to all the resources into the 
API gateway. We want to narrow down this policy. So what we will do, we will not select this policy. We will create our own custom policy. So click on the next button here. Click on the create user. Okay, so our user is created. Now what we will do, click on the policies and here we will create the, our custom policy. So click on the create policy. So here you can create the policy with the help of visual editor or a JSON editor. So if you click on the JSON, you can copy paste the policy directly into the JSON editor. But we will create the policy using visual editor. So here search for the execute API. So next option is actions allow. So let me expand all the actions. And here we want to allow only invoke action. Next is a effect. So allow or deny. So we want to allow, right? Next is a resources. So if you click on the all the resources, so it will allow all the resources from the API gateway. So let's click on the specific. And here we will create the ARN. So click on this add ARN. And let's select the provider option. So first option is resourcing. So we want to allow access only from this account. OK. As you select this option, the resource ARN will be created automatically. Now next is a resource reason. So let's see what is our reason. So if you go into the API gateway, so region is api-south-1. So let's add this region into the region section. Next is a resource API. So here we need to add the resource API ID. So let me go back into the API gateway and let me close all this notification. And here you can find your API ID or you can also get API ID from your URL as well. So this was your API ID. Okay. So let's enter this API ID into the resource API text box. Next is a resource stage. Now here, if you checkbox this any stage option, it will enter the wildcard that will be a star. So what is the meaning of star here? Star means it will allow access to all the API from the all the stages. Okay. Same for the other option as well. So we will not select this option and we will add our stage. Our stage name was dev. The next is a resource method. So resource method name was get, right? And what is our resource path? It was get data okay so resource arn is created so this is our region this is our aws account id this is our resource api id this is our stage this is our method type that is a get and this is our resource path that is get data so let's click on the add arn now next there is an option for the adding particular condition to the policy so we will not select this option here and let's click on the next button. So let me give name to the policy. Let's give name as a YT demo. And click on the create policy option here. Okay, so our policy is created. So let's go into the user section again. And here click on the user. And here you can see option for the adding the permission. So click on this add permission option here and click on the attach policy directly and let's search for the policy that we have created. So our policy name was YT demo and click on this checkbox and click on the next button. Click on the add permissions. Okay, so for this YT user, we have added permission for the access to our API gateway API. So if you expand this policy here, you can see this is the policy that we have created. Now let's go back into the API gateway. Click on this get method. And if you see in the method request setting, currently authorization is none. Okay. So click on the edit button. And here select the authorization as a AWS IAM. And we don't want to validate anything. Okay. Click on the save button. So here we have added authorization as a AWS IAM. Now, how to access this API? So if you hit this API again, 
okay let me redeploy our changes so don't forget to deploy your changes onto the stages so click on this deploy api button here click on the deploy button okay so api is deployed on the dev stage now let's refresh this url okay you can see we are getting error as a missing authentication token right so how we are going to access this api so let's go into the im service so if you see there is an option for the security credential for this yt user click on this security credential here and click on this create access key option here and use case will be command line interface so that will be programmatic access so click on this option here and let's give the confirmation here and click on the next button click on the create access key okay so this is our access key and the secret access key okay so to call our api let me copy the url of our api we will call this api using postman so this is my postman web ui so let me paste our url and here we in the authorization section select the aws signature okay so this will use aws version 4 signature protocol right so let me copy the access key let's paste into the access key option here let's copy the secret key and paste it into the secret key text box okay next is the aws region so aws region was ap south hyphen one and service name is execute api okay execute hyphen api okay and let's click on the send button okay so we are getting response from our lambda function right now next we will try to call the same api using the curl command let's say you don't have postman in your machine so how you are going to call this api so there is a curl command and let's see example for the curl command so let me open the text editor and let me copy the sample command for the curl okay so this is a sample command so what we are doing here this is a request of the type get so this will be our url okay so next we are using the aws signature version pro protocol and here we are mentioning the region and the service name next we are giving the user detail that is access key id and the secret key next we in the header we are providing the aws session token and the last we are accepting the response as a application slash json type okay so we will change this request as per our requirement so let me copy our url so let me go into the browser let's copy this url and let's paste here okay our region name was ap hyphen south hyphen one what is service name service name was execute hyphen api okay now let's copy the access key and the secret key so this is our access key and this will be secret key okay we don't have aws session token so we will remove this option from here okay so our command is ready and let's run this command from the terminal so let me open the terminal let's paste this command and let me run this command okay so you can see we are getting the response from the lambda function okay so let me go back into the api gateway okay in the resources so here we saw how to restrict access to the api using the resource based policy right and using the im policy that we have created into the im service okay so that's it for this lecture thanks for watching the video